Hello and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and friends, brothers and sisters. I've got a new microwave. It was a present from one of you brothers. Now, I still don't know if he wants to be named. Until he says yes, he's anonymous. But what should we do with a new microwave? I'll tell you what we should do. We should have one of these. Brothers and sisters, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. So we're going for the Rustler Burger. Right, not any old Rustler Burger, right? It's new Rustlers. Flame Grill Gourmet Classic Burger in a brioche bun. Uh, with cheese, streaky bacon, American style mustard, mayo and tomato relish. A 100% beef. Now, the only difference between that and a normal Russell burger is probably it's on a brioche bun. The other ones say it's 100% beef. It also says it's fully traceable to the farm of origin. If you remember, in one of my last Rustler Burger videos, I, I tried and I couldn't fucking find it for love of money. There must be a way. There must be. It, it can't put it on there if there's no way of finding out, right? I want to know which patch of grass that fucker ate. But I'm not going to know, am I? This burger uses only the finest quality beef and bacon, which is traceable back to the farm of origin, which I've just said. Uh, da, 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 da. Two steps of hashtag flaming tasty. Remove burger from packaging. Yeah, we know all that shit, don't we? We'll go through that when we get it out of the wrapper. It's a posh wrapper, by the way. It was two quid. Which is about standard for a Russell burger, isn't it? The normal ones, you, you, they sometimes run off for two quid or uh, two for two fifty or something, aren't they? No, these were two fucking quid each. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, right, here we go. Gourmet Classic Burger, it says on here. Our flame grilled beef burger, topped with streaky bacon in a brioche burger bun with a processed cheese slice, sachets of mustard mayonnaise and tomato relish. Basically, we're going to get into that, aren't we? Our quality promise, it says here. Silver there. Look at that posh silver shit. Listen, I can't see what you're looking at. With my new camera, I can't see because it's round the back of the fucking camera. If you have any comments, give us a shout and let us know. Remember to keep the packaging in case we ask for it. Nah, I don't think... It's going to be shit. We're just going to say it's shit. And throw it in a fucking bin with the packaging. It's 216 grams. Uh, our ingredients. Do you know what? Every super cool review I do. I always bang on about the ingredients. And it takes for fucking ever, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do for you guys. Is I'm just going to tell you what the allergens are. All right, is that alright? A load of fucking niacin, theamine, uh, preservatives, E250. Eight ingredients. It sounds like I'm catching a fucking bus. Right, let's get down here and get it out of the wrapper. So, there it is in all its glory. We need to get this out of this packaging. Let's do it like this. One, two, three. Fucking magic. Right, cooking instructions. It says remove burger from packaging, stick in the microwave, heat on full power, add the cheese slice for the perfect melt, squeeze over our mustard, mayo, tomato relish, then enjoy. Or, for the perfect bun, heat the burger and the bacon on full power for 50 seconds and toast the bun. Right, do you know what we're going to do? Because it said we can toast the bun. And like 
a toaster will go off. So there's the burger. There's the bacon. We've got our bun. We'll put that in toaster in a minute. Now we have to cook that for... Do, 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 do. Where the fuck is it? Uh, it does tell you. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, one minute, 15 seconds. So we'll get over to the microwave and we'll uh, bang that in the bad boy. Oh. So there is our new microwave. I'm still not 100% sure how to use it. But I need to put that on for an hour and uh, an hour. Fucking hell. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? One minute. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh. Start. Oh, yeah, one minute. Oh, no. Shit. Right, clear. Clear. Tell you what. We'll stick it on for a minute, because it, it, that's for an 800, this is a 900 watt machine. So, uh, I ain't got a fucking clue to work this machine. I've thrown the instructions and fucking everything. Bollocks! That's been a minute. Right? I know. Right, let's check it. Let's have a look. That is fucking scalding hot. <laughs> fucking hell. That'll do. Right? While that is settling over there, I'm going to get these buns in. And then we're going to assemble this two quid piece of shit. So that's the brioche bun toasted. These sat and it's still red hot. I'll tell you now. No one of the lights red hot. Get our cheese on. They weren't wrong with pr shit processed cheese with a... Cheese. This mayonnaise crap. I can get in it. Where the fuck are you in it? Right there we are. Just squeeze it on. We've got to use it all whether you like it or not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's had a bit of a spillage. Let's just test that my fingers. It tastes like salad cream. No bullshit, that tastes like salad cream. Not mayonnaise. So they're Billy bullshit us or what? And there's the tomato relish. Right, we're done. Squash it down so it goes everywhere. Right, let's get up here and give it the taste test. Brothers and sisters, the time has come for me to slide this down me fucking gizzard. Did my first say it? It's a gourmet burger. No. Where else are you going to get a gourmet burger for two quid? Not here. Tell you what, even though, even though I toasted that bun, it's still stodgy as fuck. Oh, right, one minute. I'll be back to you in a minute when I've about like ten gallon of fucking drink. Try to swallow that bun. Right, brothers and sisters, you want my thoughts on that burger, don't you? Listen, it was two quid. It's it's a Russell burger. It it was no nothing different to any other Russell burger out there, even though it says gourmet on it. I could hardly taste the mayonnaise, I could hardly taste the cheese. One slice of fucking shit cheese on there is not enough. Uh, the tomato relish, was it there? It must be because the empty sachet is there, isn't it? The brioche bun, even though I toasted it in the toaster, 
And I don't mean I just fucking let it hit the heat and fucking flick it back up again. I toasted it so it was fucking red hot and it was hard and crispy. And yet it was stodgy as fuck still. So God knows what. I'll tell you what, God knows what the fucking brioche bun they use. The burger were dry. The bacon were tasteless. If I had to mark that out at 10, I'd give that a fucking solid four or something. Price-wise, two quid. You know what? If you're hungry after a night out, you're better off going to fucking kebab shop, getting a double cheeseburger. Might cost you about four quid, but it'd be fucking far better than that, because with that, you'd get a drink and some chips, wouldn't you? That is fucking bollocks. Don't bother. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. A future video, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do it, but I'm going to actually recreate that myself and fucking cook it myself, see if I can do it for the same money. Because I'm telling you now, for what we're on that, I bet I could re recreate that myself. It'd be ten times better. And I'm spinning. <laughs> It'd be ten times better. And I bet I could do it for less than two quid. We'll see soon. Coming soon to Chris the Butcher and Friends. Well, that's the end of this episode. And we're going to jump into the particulars. If you like it, press like. Comment. Tell me if you've had it. Tell me what you think of it. Because honestly, I think it was fucking garbage. You might have enjoyed it. If I'd have had ten pints of Stella, it'd have probably been the best burger in the fucking world. But I haven't. Uh, also, share on all your social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, add me on Snapchat. Still don't know what I'm doing with it, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe, let's uh, say, maybe a burger list. I'll tell you what, a playlist for all my burgers is coming up here. A playlist somewhere, you know, for all my super cool reviews is coming up somewhere around there. And if you want to become a member of hashtag Team CTB... If you're not already, then press subscribe and become a brother and sister. A brother and sister. <laughs> Bit ill bill of that, innit? Hey, everyone's welcome because I fucking love you.